Well, this one is way too good to pass up. Uh, I have to cover this story right here because this is a juicy one. Report, Disney requires theaters to show Captain Marvel during Avengers Endgame's Thursday preview. You have to watch Captain Whammon because we said so. Disney is requiring theaters to show Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame on Thursday night, April 25th. Our source tells us that Captain Marvel will be required to be shown on Thursday night. Theaters will not be able to drop the film from screens in order to create room for Avengers Endgame. The idea behind this movie is to hopefully bring in more people to the Cap to Captain Marvel and boost the box office sales uh, to the Brie Larson-led movie, which is still... Uh, far below Disney's uh, domestic gross projections for the film. Disney had originally projected the film to earn $450 million at the domestic box office over the course of its run. The film has currently only grossed just over $400 million. While the movie will more than likely provide a boost for Larson's Captain Marvel, it means theaters won't be able to uh, fill a number of the theaters with eager Avengers in-game moviegoers on Thursday night. Less in-game moviegoers more than likely means less concession sales and less over overall business for theaters. Uh, the move by Disney is to try and promote Captain Marvel right before Avengers Endgame is not unexpected. Back in March, we revealed that they would not be selling Dumbo tickets until after Captain Marvel's opening weekend with the idea to maximize Captain Marvel's presence. They will be doing the same thing with Avengers Endgame as Aladdin tickets will not go on sale until, uh, until the Monday after Avengers Endgame opening weekend. The move also makes sense from a Marvel Studios uh, story standpoint, as Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige has stated Brie Larson's Captain Marvel will take the lead in the Marvel Cinematic Universe following Avengers Endgame. And this is the quote right here. So, I mean, this is just more evidence to, of the stuff that we've been talking about, that this that Brie Larson is the most protected movie star right now on the planet, and it's weird, it doesn't make sense, it's really strange. They clearly uh, are, are trying to force her into the lead role of the next phase of the Avengers. We all knew this was happening. So this is just more evidence of everything we've been saying. We say it over and over again. Then we have these critics out there saying, oh, it's not true. You guys are just making this up. No, we're not. Like Disney really is. They are dedicated to forcing Captain Marvel upon everyone. This film has been positioned to be successful. She got the she got the nod at the end of Infinity War. The movie is releasing six weeks before Endgame. Now they're putting screenings before Endgame. They're doing everything they can. I mean, clearly the movie was a success. I don't think anybody can dispute that at this point. We can dispute how it became a success, but that's another discussion for another video. But it clearly was a, a success. I mean, you make $400 million domestically, that's a damn good run. And over a billion worldwide, that's a damn good run. I'm not arguing with that at all. But clearly they... They, they recognize that this character has failed to inspire people, has failed to really... Like, again, I don't really know anybody who's, who's been talking positively about Captain Marvel. I don't know anyone. I, I just don't. I mean, none of the people... I mean, I run, a, uh, I run an entertainment website. I have a you know, YouTube channel. I don't really see people that excited about Captain Marvel in the movie. I, I see a lot of uh, Brie Larson bots on Twitter being overly excited because Queen Brie and they are, are willing to ignore everything she's ever said that was negative and act like she's the most positive human being that's ever existed. But I don't know just everyday people that have just been super excited for Captain Marvel, even though this movie made over a billion dollars. I just don't know. So Disney and Marvel clearly are looking at this going, we have to do everything in our power to make sure people are excited for this character. We have to force them to watch this movie. We have to force them to accept Captain Marvel as their leader and, sorry, it's not going to work for me. And I don't think it's going to work for a lot of people. But it will be interesting to see how this plays out. I am excited for Endgame. I have heard Captain Marvel does not have a very, very big presence in this movie, which is a very good sign. But that still does not take away my concerns for the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, I'm not even really looking forward to it, to be honest with you. I'm just looking forward to Endgame being a great ending to an amazing 11-year run and some of the best continuity and storytelling we've seen. Uh, over the course of that time, I mean, it's just amazing what they've uh, been able to accomplish. But identity politics tend to ruin everything, and that's exactly what this seems like is going on now in the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So what do you guys think about this news? 
Sounds pretty interesting to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy Endgame. I hope you're not getting spoiled for Endgame. There is a lot of spoilers out there, and they are pretty... Uh, people are pretty aggressive with it. So, uh, anyway, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.